Hi, you're welcome. Let's solve for the value of A and B in this particular equation with a condition that A is not equal to B. Stick around and trust me, you're going to enjoy this ride. Okay, this let's call this our equation 1 and this our equation 2. Okay, so if we say equation 1 minus equation 2, so that will be A squared minus B minus B squared minus A, right? Is equal to 73 minus 73. So we have a squared minus b minus times b squared give us minus b squared minus times minus a plus a is equal to zero. Okay, so we can bring out a squared minus b squared from here, then plus a minus b is equal to zero. Now a squared minus b squared is what? A minus b multiplied by a plus b, all right? Now plus a minus what? b is equal to zero now if you look very well notice that we have a minus b a minus b so let's factorize it out so if we do that we are going to have when the whole of this is divided by this we have a plus b remaining right and when it divides this we have plus one is equal to zero all right there's no need for this there's no need for this yeah so zero so that means we can say that a minus b is equal to zero Okay, but in this case, our A is equal to B. And recall that we are told that A is not equal to B as one of the conditions. So we are not going to make use of this, all right? Now, the second one is that A plus B plus 1 is equal to 0. That means A plus B is equal to minus 1. Let's call this equation 3. Very important equation. We are getting back to it. We are going to come back to it, all right? Now, let us, we've added, uh, subtracted equation 2 from equation 1. Let's add both of them together. So if we say equation 1 plus equation 2, so what we are going to have is what? A squared minus B, okay, plus B squared minus A is equal to 73 plus 73. Now let's solve. So we can bring out A squared plus B squared from here. Then we have minus A minus B is equal to what? 146. Okay, so we have A squared plus B squared is equal to 146. Then if this A crosses, it becomes plus A. The same thing B becomes minus B becomes plus B. So we have A squared plus B squared is equal to 146 minus 1. Yes, recall that A plus B, according to equation 3, is minus 1, okay? So that means that A squared plus B squared is equal to 145. Now, let's call this equation 4. From 3, from 3, we have what? That A plus B is equal to minus 1. If we should square both sides of the equation, we are going to have a plus b squared is equal to minus 1 squared, right? So, a plus b squared simply means a squared plus 2ab plus b squared is equal to 1, okay? Because minus 1 squared is equal to 1. Now, let's continue from here. So, we can bring out a squared plus b squared here, right? So, we have a squared plus b squared plus 2ab plus 2ab is equal to 1. We have value for a squared plus b squared, and that is what? 145. So we have 145 plus 2ab is equal to 1. If we make 2ab the subject of the formula, we are going to have 1 minus 145, right? 1 minus 145. Okay, so we have 2ab is equal to minus 144. So our AB will be minus 144 divided by 2. So our AB will be equal to minus 72. Now, this is another important um, this thing. Let's call it equation 5. Okay. Now, don't worry. Very soon, you are going to see why we are getting all these equations. We are going to substitute to get our A and our B. All right? So let us find A minus B squared. According to um, algebraic identity, is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. All right? So a minus b squared is equal to a squared 
plus b squared minus 2ab. So that means that a minus b squared is equal to a squared plus b squared is what? Um, is 145. So we have 145 minus 2 brackets. Our uh, ab, recall that ab is minus 72. So we have a minus b squared is equal to 145 minus plus because minus minus is plus so we are going to have 144 here right 144 okay permit me to clean this side because we don't need anything here except equation 3 and equation 3 says a plus b is equal to minus 1 so that is the only thing i'm going to leave we are going to need it so apart from that all these ones are not useful okay so this is what we have that a minus b squared is equal to 145 plus 144 let's count plus 144 will be 289 right 289 all right so 145 plus 144 will give us 289 so our a minus b should be equal to square root of 289 right so that means a minus b will be plus or minus 17. Okay. Um, now let's call this equation what? Six. Yes, if this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please don't hesitate to subscribe and to on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Okay. So this is equation six. If we should compare equation six and equation three, Recall that equation 3 says a plus b is equal to minus 1. And we have gotten that a minus b is equal to plus or minus 11. Meaning that there are two cases here. Now, what are the cases? We have case 1. Case 1 here is that what? That a minus b is equal to 17. And case 2 implies that a minus b is equal to minus 17. So you are going to consider these two cases, all right? So let's start with case one. For case one, okay, comparing this equation six, comparing six and three, all right? So we are going to choose case one. That is where a minus b is equal to 17. So we have a minus b is equal to 17. And equation 3 says that A plus B is equal to what? Minus 1. Now, let's solve both of them. Simultaneously, because we have uh, two different signs here, we are going to add so that we can eliminate our B, okay? So, if we do that, A plus A will give us 2A. Then, minus B plus B will give us 0. Is equal to 17 plus minus 1 will give us 16. So from here, we can say that A is equal to 8. So let's call this A 1, all right? Now, let's comparing this for, for case 2. For case 2, let's find A 2. For case 2, it's going to be what? A, plus, A minus B is equal to minus 17. This is our case 2. That's A minus B is equal to minus 17, okay? And A plus B. According to our equation, 3 is equal to minus 1. So if we subtract as well, sorry, if we add, a plus a will give us 2a, all right, is equal to minus 17 minus 1, we give us minus 18. Now, if we solve this, let me clean this, I think we have gotten what we wanted. So if we solve this, we can see that our a2 is going to be minus 9. All right, so we have found our a1 and we have found our a2. Now let's go ahead and, and get our b1 and b2 respectively. So for this particular case, that is for case one, to get our b2 from here, to get our b1, sorry, we notice that our a here is 8. So let's substitute this 8 into any of this equation to get our b1. So if we substitute it into this first equation, we can say that A, which is 8, minus B is equal to 17. Recall we are looking for B1. We have gotten A1. We are looking for the corresponding B. Okay? So that means that minus B1 is equal to 17 minus 8. So minus B1 is equal to 17 minus 8. We give you 9, right? We give you 9. So B1 becomes minus 9. 
So that means A1 is equal to 8 and B1 is equal to what? Let's write it somewhere. A1 comma B1 is equal to 8 comma minus 9. Perfect. Now let's go to the second case. For the second case, this case, all right, let's substitute B. Our A is minus 9. Let's substitute it into any of this equation to get our B2, okay? So if we substitute it into the first equation, we are going to have... A is minus 9, right? Minus 9 minus B is equal to minus 17. Okay, now minus 9 plus 17 is equal to this B we cross to become positive. Now 17 minus 9, we give us what? We give us 8, right? So we have that 8 is equal to B. So that is our B2. That means that a2, comma B2 is equal to... Now what is our A2? Minus 9. And what is our B to 8? Now, let's check. Let's check if what we solve is right. So, we are going to use the first equation. A squared minus B is equal to 73. A squared minus B is equal to 73. All right. Now, um, let's use our first value for A and B. So, A is what? 8. So, we have A squared minus B is minus 9. Minus 9 is equal to 73. So, 8 squared is 64, minus minus is plus, is equal to 73. So, 73 is equal to 73. You can use this one to check for any, any of the... You can check this into any of these equations to confirm your solution. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day.